Good morning, everyone. I'm here with a great book this morning called How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? And I'm reading this book to you today. Um, it gives some great examples on how when you're kind to someone else, how it makes you feel good about yourself. And it also maybe changes their day if they're having a bad day. So this is a great book. Um, How Full is Your Bucket for Kids? Written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. Illustrated by Maury J. Manning. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. I'm big. Stay back, you'll knock it over. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. And this is how she's feeling right now about Felix. She's thinking in red, which means she's angry. Whack! So she took her doll and she hit all of his blocks and they fell. Whack! Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad, but when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm, sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. Even his dog saw it. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. He's trying to reach the cereal. The dog's hungry. She's mad because her mom's doing her hair. Kind of a chaotic morning. Felix slipped and the choco wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drip spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus scolded mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the choco wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Feel it. Psst. So he hears the kids whispering about him. That doesn't feel very good. More drips. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. His bucket is almost empty now. It was still morning and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. And he's got a kind of a mad face. He's not feeling too great about himself. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Hmm. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop. The Giantosaurus Who Wanted a Pet by me, 
Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and ooed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. At lunch, he found a little note from his mom. Love you, mom. That feels good. So he's feeling his bucket fill up. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Ooh, being chosen for the team captain, that's a good feeling. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. So other people are complimenting him and it really feels good when somebody pays you a compliment. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. And he's, his teacher dropped some papers and he's offered to help. Let me help you. Feels good to Felix. Feels good to the teacher who dropped the papers. He retri retrieved a baseball. Here's your baseball catch. Thanks, dude. Made everybody feel good. A new kid on the bench. Hi, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm Amir. Made them both feel like really good. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Oh, the arm was torn off. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, dogs might have invisible buckets too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. And by him including his sister, being nice, getting along, both their buckets are being filled up. So you guys have the choice today. You can choose to fill someone's bucket. Well, it in turn fills your bucket and it just spreads a lot of kindness in this world. And I hope you guys try to fill somebody's bucket today. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll be back tomorrow, which is Friday already. Bye, guys.